Sometimes um, you can come across the equation of the circle written in this format, where you've got an x squared, um, a linear term in x, a y squared, there may be a linear term in y, but this one doesn't, and you have a constant term. And it looks slightly different to how we've had the equation of the circle before. So what you need to do in this particular case is use your skill of completing the square. And we're going to complete the square for the x's, okay? We're going to leave the y's alone because there's only a y squared there, and that's perfectly fine. So we're going to complete the square for the x squared minus 4x, and we're going to get x minus 2 squared take away 4. And we've still got that plus y squared minus 12 is 0. Now if we rearrange that, we can get the x minus 2 all squared, we've got the y squared, and minus 4 take away 12 is minus 16, and so if we add 16 to both sides, we can write the equation like this. And this equation has a centre at 2, 0. Okay, so 2 and 0, okay, and the radius has a length, square root of 16 is 4. So that is how you can convert an equation like this into the equation that has the format that we are used to. I'm going to go through one more example. Let's say I instead had um, this. Okay, it looks fairly similar, but now we have this constant, this um, linear term in y as well. And what we're going to do is we are going to complete the square on both parts this time. Okay, this is the more common style that you will see. So the x squared minus 4x, we've already done that before, so it's x squared minus 2, sorry, x minus 2 all squared, take away 4. Plus, now for the y's, we get y minus 1 squared, take away 1. And we've still got that plus 1 equals 0 on the end. So we're going to write the x's. And we're going to write the y's. The minus 4, take away 1 is minus 5. Add 1 is minus 4. And so if you add 4 to both sides, we can bring the 4 over onto the right hand side. So you can now identify that the centre is 2, 1. And the radius must be square root 4, which is 2. So when you have an equation in this format, you must use completing the square in order to get it into this format so you can tell the location of the centre and the length of the radius. Okay, So you need to be able to manipulate this equation into this format and back again. But going back again is just expanding the brackets, so that's not too challenging.